you into the world of a unique prop shop in Dallas. Inside, Robert Video Bob Mosley and his talented crew build replicas of iconic movie cars for fanboys who have always wanted to drive the real thing. One of my favorites is the DeLorean Time Machine from Back to the Future. You know, it's real steampunk. It's got a lot of cool hoses and gadgets. It's a lot of fun to build. Another. My name is Video Bob Mosley. I create the coolest movie car replicas you've ever seen. This is the DeLorean Time Machine. This is the most iconic movie vehicle of all time. Back to the Future was one of the highest grossing films of the 80s. Everything works just like it did in the movie. This is the most fun that a nerd can have. I get to live out my fantasies and drive the coolest car ever made. And the best part is, I made it. There's nothing that's more fun than hitting 88 miles an hour in this thing and going through flux dispersal. Everywhere you go in this thing, people are going crazy. You're taking pictures, stopping traffic. Happens everywhere I go. Yeah. What's up, man? I'm Video Bob. Video Bob, what, 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 what you got going here? I have the 1981 <laughs> DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. I bought a DeLorean in 2003. I've always had a love for movie cars. And if you're going to have a movie car, you might as well have the most iconic movie car of all time, and that is the DeLorean Time Machine. I'm here to tell you that this car that was built by Video Bob, the inside the circuitry, it's brilliant, it's detailed, it has the sound effects, it has the smoke machine, stuff we never even had at that time. It is one of the finest replicas ever made. Thank right. you. Thanks very much, Kevin. I appreciate you coming. Meet the man from Dallas. Say you want to see the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Who can help make those dreams come true. I made my dreams a reality. Sort of. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? I build DeLorean time machines. And you'd better be here on time to see this. Tuesday at 10 on CBS 11 News. It takes all his spare time just to find the spare parts. What's funny about the Mr. Fusion is it's actually a Krupp's coffee grinder. You might have found one of these at a department store in the early 80s. Finding all these parts that are now 25, 30, or 40 years old has been the challenge. But it's the dedication. Oh, we're out of plutonium, sorry. To authenticity that ends up turning heads. You could spend millions of dollars uh, on Ferraris, Lamborghinis. They're not going to get you the attention of a DeLorean time machine. My hobby has now become a business and they're in high demand. I can't build them fast enough. And his creations are the stuff of movie magic. Each DeLorean time machine comes complete with a Mr. Fusion, time circuits, and of course, a flux capacitor. It's a functional, real driving car. You can drive it around, you can pop in your favorite Huey Lewis cassette, and you can really believe that you're Marty McFly. I've got all the little props, like here's, here's one of the hoverboards from the future. Um, and when you're driving around and you're listening to the theme music and you're going 88 miles an hour, uh, you really feel like you're in the film. And what kind of reaction does he get when he drives around North Texas in one of these babies? And when I take this thing out, people go crazy. They chase me down the street uh, to take a picture. I've had them jump out of their car in an intersection and run over to me, uh, try to open the door. I've had girls jump on the hood. I mean, it's the closest thing to being a celebrity that you can get is driving this car. I worked closely with Universal Studios and uh, the people who built the original cars and the people who wrote the movie and became friends with them. And uh, we've got it to the point now that it's wire for wire. It's 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 right on the money. They have all the buttons. It's set to November 5th, 1955. Yes. I love that. It's perfect. Right. Now we're going to take it for a spin to see if it drives as good as it looks. October 26th, 1985. Let's go. This is cooler than the Batmobile, Rick. I became friends with Kevin Pike. He was the original special effects supervisor. I was given some of the original storyboards and sketches and instructions on how they built the original three cars that were used in the first Back to the Future film. This thing is a hobby that turned into a crazy business. Turning these vintage DeLoreans, a short-lived brand of the early 80s, into so-called time machines is the brainchild of Bob Mosley, a former restaurant owner who, as a fan himself, bought a DeLorean. The thing about it is if you own a DeLorean, you're going to have to deal with Back to the Future references. So everywhere I went, somebody would say, hey, McFly, where's your flux capacitor? <laughs> and because uh, I have an engineering background, I built a flux capacitor, I put it in the car, and the reaction of People seeing it was so great that I just kept adding on to the car until eventually you end up here. Selling the cars for up to $100,000 each, including celebrity customers like San Antonio Spurs guard Tony Parker. Look at this. This is, um, this is your car. You have the car from Back to the Future. <laughs> this is really your car. It is. You drive it? 
I do. This is the inside of the car. I go to practice with it. My teammates, they, they always make fun of me. They do. <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Do you love the movies? Is that yeah, I love the movies. I love the movies. I'm a big fan of <laughs> Every wire in the car is exactly like it was in the films. So what do you think? You want to go for a ride? Am I driving? No, I'm driving. <laughs> but I'll let you ride in the passenger seat. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. No, let's get this up to 1.21 gigawatts. Let's see if you bastards can do 90. I want to see people looking at it. This thing is a dangerous responsibility because people are so busy trying to take a picture of it. Like, for instance, this guy next to us, he's taking pictures with his phone. Just think this does work? Sure, that's my stereo. Let me flip that. <laughs> for Nightline, I'm Darren Ravel in Duncanville, Texas. So like, there it is. <laughs> Pull that out. Doc Brown just loaded plutonium in my time machine. I'm video. <laughs> you got a different kind of star power up in the block right now. We've talked about this car. In 1981, DeLorean, it's a Back to the Future time machine. Of course, this is the Mr. Fusion edition. Yep, you made a time machine out of a DeLorean? There it goes. All right, here we are. Universal Studios, we're about to place the our DeLorean time machine right there in that space where the other car sat for all these years across from what used to be the Back to the Future ride, which is now the Simpsons. The uh, train from Back to the Future 3 is still there. So we're gonna get the car moved. Yeah. Now, if you want it to be. You had to start it for me. Oh, there it is. The DeLorean time machine. And its new home next to the train. Gorgeous.